Welcome to Electron Line. Here's our next video where we have to simplify this expression. Again, we'll have to multiply this times the binomial here and then subtract from that this binomial there. The way that's done is as follows. We multiply the minus 3xy, which is a single term, first times the 4x and then times the plus y. And then we apply the negative sign here, changing the sign of everything inside the parentheses. And then we'll add like terms together. So this becomes minus 3xy times 4x is minus 12x squared y. And minus 3xy times y is minus 3xy squared. Now we apply the negative sign to this. This becomes minus 2x squared y. And a minus times a minus becomes plus xy squared. Now we have to combine like terms together, which means the letter portion of each term must be identical before we can add them. So the first term here has an x squared y. Is there any other term that has an x squared y? And the answer is yes. There's another term with the exact same letter portion, x squared y. So these two terms can be combined. Minus 12x squared y minus 2x squared y is minus 14x squared y. Now we have a minus 3xy squared, and here's another term that has an xy squared. Again, the letter portion is exactly the same, xy squared, xy squared, so those two can be combined. Minus 3 plus 1 is a minus 2xy squared. Now it's customary to factor out anything that's common. Notice we can factor out a negative 2, we can factor out a single x, and we can factor out a single y. So this can now be written as follows. This is equal to minus 2xy times the quantity. If we factor out a minus 2, we have a remainder of 7. Factor out an x, we have an x. And the y is factored out. And here, the minus 2 is gone, so it becomes plus. The x is factored out, and one of the y's is factored out. So this leaves us with a minus 2xy, which is the common factor of these two terms. And this is what is remaining after we factor. And that would be the final, simplest way of writing the answer. That's how it's done.